Hey, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Overseas Madman here, coming to you guys with another video. For today, we're going to talk about a few different things. First things first, I'd like to talk about Nefty. If you're not trading, buying, selling, and doing all of your marketplace stuff on Nefty Blocks, you should really consider doing it. Not only do you get rewarded for, you know, buying and selling on their marketplace, but you're also given the, um, a pretty huge amount of tools to earn money. You can stake Nefty and earn wax. You can provide liquidity and earn Nefty. It's very, very interesting. And I honestly think more and more people should get involved with it. I've collected more than a thousand Nefty, I'm pretty sure, from just buying and selling on their marketplace. I think it's probably closer to 2,000 Nefty. And that's for doing nothing, right? That's just from buying and selling on their marketplace. There's no reason to buy and sell on other ones, mostly because the collection fee that they take or not collection fee, I'm sorry, the maker and taker fees that they get do not go back to you at all. Another thing that I'd like to talk about before we get started with some other stuff is Digger's World. So Digger's World had their drop last night, and I guess it had a bunch of controversy behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and ease a little bit of people's minds about it and kind of tell you how I feel about um, the things that occurred. So if we go over to EOS XIO and we check their transfers, you can see that they transferred out a very healthy amount of wax into their Binance account. And it started from midnight all the way up until the sell ended. I think the reason that they were doing this um, was because that they wanted to get the wax into USDD, USDT before it depreciated because wax has been on a very huge depreciation over the last couple of weeks. The wax price has not been good. Um, we can go and check that out here in a minute, but this is probably what was going on. And then again, it did cost them their whitelist um, badge, but then again, whitelist badges don't really mean anything, ladies and gentlemen. If a collection has a whitelist badge or a verified badge, honestly, it doesn't mean that it's a safe project. It doesn't mean it's something you should invest into. And ladies and gentlemen, don't ever think that a whitelist badge or a verified badge means that something is safe. It's not that way at all. We're still in the crypto space. These badges are just kind of like arbitrary. They just get thrown onto something because, you know, some identity and some smart contracts got evaluated. But Digger's World lost theirs. Usually when a verified whitelisting gets removed, that's a lot more worrying than a um, one getting added. Like, I don't really care if something's whitelisted or not. But if something loses its whitelist, that's usually quite alarming. All right, so moving on from there, let's get into some other things. These are like the top performing collections um, that are labeled on Nefty Blocks at the current moment. We got Castles. We got one I've never heard about. Another one I've never heard about. And then we have Millions on Mars. Millions on Mars is a very awesome game. You guys should really check it out. Um, and then we also have Taco Racers. And I would also like to talk about Waxel Ninjas in this video. So we're just going to go through the tray really quickly here. On Mars. So On Mars still has some drops coming. Um, they do drops, I think, around Wednesdays and Thursdays, UTC. I'm not exactly sure on the specific time. Join their Discord. Tell them that I sent you if you're interested in joining. They only have 13 premium access badges left. That is insane. You get all kinds of badass stuff when you buy this. Please note, if you buy this, this is for new accounts only. Don't be trading it between other accounts. Don't get the premium access badge and try to like, you know, boost up your other account. That is going to probably get you banned or at least in trouble. So don't do anything like that. They've sold a very healthy amount of access badges. Almost all of their drops sell out rather immediately. So ladies and gentlemen, keep an eye on this page. Keep an eye on their discord because their drops are hot. They sell out insanely, insanely fast. Moving on, Taco Racers. So Taco Racers is having a drop today in about 12 hours from now, which will probably be 11 hours after this video goes live. But please note that this is a very interesting project. I thought it looked pretty well. You can also pay with Taco. They have some drops on here. Um, Pre-launch pack is whitelisted. Pre-launch pack public. And then another pre-launch pack public. This is the taco version, so you can pay in taco or you can pay in wax. But I think 30 wax for a drop is really not that much. Um, I'm most likely going to be buying one tonight with a little bit of wax that I have at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Most of the drops that I want to talk about are these ones that I just listed. 
Another one that you guys should really consider is the Waxel Ninja Pack drop. They still have a pretty healthy amount remaining. They've sold 4,870 and there's 4,030 um, available. This is a very, very interesting collection. Um, I think that Ryu and his team are going to launch probably June, July-ish. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but that's just my personal speculation. I'm hoping that it launches um soon but i also want it to launch under good intention and with good development we've seen other projects rush to make things happen and it's always turned out negative all right so with the drops being covered let's go ahead and check out wax market cap and let's see what kind of collections have been performing and what collections have not so if you come and take a peek at it dc funko series one is the top collection over the last 24 hours we have Alien Worlds, which has had a pretty decent run up over the last 24 hours. I've seen a lot of people selling their land plots. Um, Digger's World is the one that just came out not that long ago. It's not an old project at all, so be warned about that. They've had a 545% jump in the last 24 hours. Let's check things on the three days mark, and let's just see where things are lying from there. So same thing, same thing, DC Funko number one, Blockchain Brawlers at number two, and it just goes down. But Millions on Mars is doing phenomenal. It's number five over the last three days, and they're only slightly increasing. The Dusk token has been doing very well. So aside from all of that, let's go back over to the marketplace and let's check out where things are moving. So the Brawl token is down 40% for the week. Farmer's World's token um, for wood is down 17%. TLM's had a pretty good increase over the last seven days at 10%. Um, let's just go and check things out by their seven day change. So the Goldman tokens have had a pretty good, um, you know, they've been pumping back up. They've had a 40%, nearly 30 to 40% increase. The Sailor's token as well has also had a pretty decent little increase to it. If you guys are um, wanting to check some of these things out to see how collections are performing, I highly suggest you come and check out Alcor. They have a very awesome new feature that a lot of people don't know about, and it is the depth chart. So you can see the um, spread very easily here. You can see support and you can see resistance. Obviously, this one doesn't seem to have a huge amount of support behind the resistance. Um, I don't know. I think that this, this arena of Gladiator or whatever it's called isn't really that good of a project. It's okay. I'm not into it. A bunch of people that I know do play it, and they're not that happy with it. Same with a lot of the other projects. People just are not happy in general based on, you know, what we have on the market. Um, so moving on, let's go and check out some appreciation and depreciation on the market, and let's see which ones are performing the most. So Mr. Potato Game, we talked about this yesterday. It seems like things have been holding pretty steady. Let's go check out the restaurant packs, and let's go to price lowest. So it looks like the restaurant packs and stuff are not doing too bad. I think the prices have been pretty static compared to where they were. Um, we can actually go and check that out. So it looks like the price has actually gone down. It's halved over the course of a week or so. Um, a little bit over a week. The prices have actually halved. That's probably because the initial height factor when a project comes out, it usually hypes up. And then when the game releases, the tokens kind of get... I mean, the, the um, NFTs get evaluated on their ability to farm their tokens and like the amount of money they're going to generate in general. So that's usually what we see when a project comes out. Let's go and check out some other ones and let's see how they're performing. Let's just check out On Mars really quickly here and let's pull open a... Um, let's go to PAX. And let's just see which packs should we check out. I think the Rover pack is probably one that we should look at and see how it's appreciating or depreciating. So let's go ahead and check that out now. Um, so this pack is not very old at all. It just came out, I believe, on the 6th. And so over the course of five days, it hasn't really depreciated at all. It has had a little bit of depreciation, mostly, I think, because of the wax price. But it's holding its own in wax. Um, when it comes to USDT or USD, it's going down. But as wax, it's pretty flat. The line seems to be pretty flat. The lowest listing's 517, suggested 495, and the highest sell at 496, with only two sells in the last 24 hours and eight total sells. Let's move on to another controversial project that a lot of people are worried about. 
<coughs> let's check out farmer's world the best way to gauge the way things are going on this one is to sort it by epic and let's see what the prices of the i don't even think they have that in here yet let's check out the rares maybe they have some gold memberships on the market maybe they don't um for some reason it removed my filter i i think it's because of bulk listings actually people are listing things in bulk so it's not going to show me um let me refresh this page all right so let's go and check that out we'll go to level three i believe is um maybe a gold membership i'm very unsure to be honest with you it's been a while since i've been in here um i haven't been doing a whole lot of analysis on their marketplace mostly because there's really you know i don't know it's just kind of depreciated anyways let's go and check that out let's see what a food membership maybe level three listing price um lowest it's going to take a while to query all of these up because there is a bulk load of items and it seems like most people are selling things in the bulk order we can actually do we can change that but i'm not really that worried about it so the prices of the nfts have gone down pretty rapidly um let's check out the price of a chainsaw in general if we can click that so it looks like the price of a chainsaw if you come over to the market is down even further than it has been in a long time you can buy a chainsaw for like three dollars that is ridiculously cheap um the cheapest i've seen it in a very long time if we look at it on the six month chart i mean they were going for 86k and now they're next to worth nothing but that's mostly because there's so many of them on you know in game there's so many people holding so many chainsaws there's 396 thousand minted chainsaws and another thing farmers world went ahead and refilled their pool if anybody was not paying attention they did deposit 10 billion more into the farmers world account just because the wood was running low so they went ahead and topped that up that's pretty much it for this video ladies and gentlemen don't forget to do your buying selling and trading on nefty blocks it's honestly worth the rewards it costs you nothing it saves you um a little bit of time as well they do now have bulk listing tools you can set up templates as well and you should also check out providing liquidity and farming some nefty and also staking your rewards you can turn auto stake on i've done it before and you'll get more shares of the 75 percent um that they divvy out from the market fees so that's super super badass if you come and check it out there's 10 million nefty staked that is ridiculous and like i said if you farm nefty there's 476 nefty every single hour and there's only 1 million nefty um staked which is right here through the liquidity pair so if you want to get a big share of that market you could do it you could put like um oh that would cost you a lot of money but you could do it you could put 200,000 nefty and also 94,000 wax nearly and you could get a pretty good shareholding from the nefty that gets released every hour um you're not losing anything you're just staking liquidity but ladies and gentlemen that's it for this video i love every single one of you you guys are all absolutely amazing um stay tuned i'm going to be doing more videos like this if you guys have any suggestions about drops or things upcoming don't forget to pm me about it because i want to get as much exposure to the drop scene as possible again and again and again i love every single one of you and i'll catch you guys all in the next one overseas madman out